Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let us have a look on our base paper, Query Planning for Continuous Aggregation Queries over a Network of Data Aggregators. According to this paper, continuous queries are used to monitor changes and provide an online decision making. It can be used to know the value of portfolio for a client and find an average of temperature. In this paper, we present a low-cost scalable technique to answer continuous aggregation queries using a network of aggregators of dynamic data items. Each data aggregator serves a data item with specific coherency. In this paper, we use a greedy algorithm for decomposing a client query into subquery and executing subqueries by data aggregators with the individual sub incoherency bounds. The main objective of this paper is reduce the number of reference messages sent from aggregators to the client. For estimating the number of reference messages, we use a query cost model. Comparing to existing schemes, our model has less number of reference messages. Let us have a look on flow diagram. Start the process. There are multiple clients C1, C2, C3 and C4 send request query to network of data aggregators. The centralized data network receive the query and identify which data aggregators to satisfy the query. The multiple data aggregator receive the query. After processing the query, send result to the client. The each client received the query result after the stop the process. Let us see the complete demo of the project. First, you can log into admin panel for client query process, updation process and automatic client query process. In this updation process to select the database, and so in current status of the share market to click auto update button for automatically update the share market in this client process we can receive and process the client query in client 1 select the query and specify the incoherency bound value sent to data aggregators The client query receive means that can be shown in a message box. We can receive the client query and process the query. Based on the greedy algorithm, we select the data aggregators. Process the client query and send the result to the client. Now client 1 has to receive the query result. Now client 2 want to know the current status of an share market send query to data aggregators. The centralized data network receive and process the client query. The query result has to be sent to client. The client 2 receive the current status of an share market. The client 3 select the query and specify the incoherency bound value and send to data aggregators. The data aggregator receive the client query and select the data aggregators to process the query. After processing the query, send result to client. Now client 3 has to receive the query result. Client 1 select the query and specify an incoherency bound value and send to data aggregators. Client 2 want to know the current status of the share market send query to data aggregators. In client 3 
select the query and specify the inference bound value and send to data aggregators. The data aggregator receives the each client query and processing the client query and send result to corresponding client. Client 1 has to receive the query result. Client 2 has to receive the query result. Then finally client 3 also has to receive the query result. Now let us see the automatic client query process. Client 1 select the query. In this way an incoherency bound value. Then send to data aggregators. In client 2 select the query. Then specify an incoherency bound value. Then send to data aggregators. In client 3, select the query. Then specify an incoherency bound value. Then send to data aggregators. The each client query has to be received and processed automatically. Then the result sent to each client. Client 1 has to receive the query result. Client 2 has to receive the query result. Then finally, Client 3 also has to receive the query result. The graph shows the performance analysis of existing and proposed system. Thank you for listening the video.